Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. We have the first look of Vulcan's first flight, payload fairing, chaired by ULA CEO Tori Bruno. Tori talking about BE4 engines, he said that they found mineral assembly issue on BE4 flight engine 1, so they will test flight engine 2 first, and he's super pleased with the BE4's performance. We have possible closure next week from Monday, August 29th to Tuesday, August 30th. This time it's not from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., but from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Another day at Starbase and another round of testing. Let's start first with Booster 7. We have the first Spin Prime test. And the second one. Now let's move to ship 24, we have engine chill and spin prime test. But before that someone didn't remove this scaffolding or the plan was not to move up the chopsticks to that level. Let's zoom in. I hope nothing was damaged in there, we will find out in the next days if they use the crane or the chopsticks. But for sure someone didn't do his job because there is cameras everywhere, they can use them or use drone to check before moving the chopstick up. All thanks to Rap Padre as always for this amazing live coverage. Elon said that Starlink version 2 launching next year will transmit direct to mobile phones, eliminating dead zones worldwide. Weather is currently 70% favorable for SLS launch on August 29th. NASA teams have completed closeout on SLS boosters and finished work inside Orion spacecraft. Next step, closing launch abort system hatch and retract the crew access arm. SpaceX is targeting tomorrow, Saturday, August 27th at 10.22 p.m. Eastern Time for Falcon 9 launch of 54 Starlink satellites. And talking about launches, Long March 2D rocket launched from Changxi carrying Beijing 3B satellite. NASA and Boeing are now targeting next February for the first crewed test flight of the Starliner to the International Space Station. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you later.